Previously, we talked about the ways on how to solve for the roots of polynomial equations or the zeros of polynomial functions. And um, chances are, we are actually using synthetic division and tinawag pa natin tong super synthetic division or the continuous division. And our ultimate goal is to factor the polynomial so that kapag naka-factor na yan, we can use the zero product property. And um, actually, we have several theorems that became part of our arsenal in finding the solutions of polynomial equations. We have the division algorithm. Remember the division algorithm? Division for polynomials. And which is very important in proving the theorem such as the remainder and the factor theorem. Remainder and the factor. Remainder? Should be remainder and the factor theorem. We also have the rational root theorem. The favorite na din, no? Rational root theorem, if you want a list of all the possible rational roots, dito ka na lang mamimili kung ano yung mga pwedeng gamitin mo sa ating super synthetic division. And we also have the fundamental theorem of, of algebra. Now, anong sabi sa fundamental theorem of algebra? If the degree of your polynomial is 4, then we are expecting at most 4 real roots. Now, if you want to review the, the following theorems, I place the links on the videos on the description box. But for this video, I will add another weapon in our arsenal that will surely help us in solving polynomial equations or finding the zeros of polynomial functions. And this is the Descartes Rule of Signs. According to the Descartes Rule of Signs, let P of X be a polynomial function with real coefficients, then the number of positive real roots is either equal to the number of sign changes of P of X or is equal to the number of sign changes by an even integer. For the negative naman, the number of negative real roots is either equal to the number of sign changes of P of negative X, or is less than the number of sign changes by an even integer. So, kailangan ting kompeten mo na si P of X, actually in given, and then P of negative X. Yung sign changes naman, for example, si P of, P of X meron siyang um, 5 sign changes. So, yung mga possible positive real roots niya ay 5, 3, o kaya 1. Kasi kailangan, ano, less than the number of sign changes by an even integer. So, pwedeng 5, pwedeng 3, pwedeng 1. Kung 4 naman yung nabilang mo, so pwede kang 4, pwedeng 2, pwedeng 0. Kung 3 naman yung nabilang mo, so pwede kang 3, pwede kang 1. Hindi ka na pwedeng mag-negative, ha? So, kung hindi na siya possible pa na minusan mo ng even integer, or minus 1, 2. Actually, yung ginagawa ko lang, minus 2, minus 2, minus 2. So, ganun din sa negative, sa negative ko, na bilang mo sa negative ay 1 lang. So, 1 lang yung possible mo na negative real root. Okay? So, kasi, again, hindi ka na pwedeng mag-minus para maging negative yung bilang. So, that's uh, what it means by, uh, or is less than the number of sign changes by, by an even integer. Okay, let's have some examples. Use the Descartes rule of signs to determine the possible number of positive and negative real zeros of this polynomial function. The first thing you need to check is, nakasulat ba yung polynomial function mo into, in, in standard form? Decreasing by exponent. Kapag decreasing na exponent, tingnan mo naman kung kompleto ba siya ng mga terms. Kung hindi kompleto ng terms, dagdagan mo siya. So in this case, Galing to sa, saan ba to? Galing to sa positive, positive 2, and then negative 21. So, you have 1, sign change there. And then, we have negative 21 naging positive 65. So, again, isa pa ulit sign change yun. And then, positive naging negative dito sa 42. And then, negative 42 naging um, negative 40. Walang nagbago doon. So, we have 3. We have 3 possible positive real roots, but according to the Descartes rule of sign, mabab may, may, may isa pang chance na mas mababa by an even integer. So, 3 or 1. Now, let's compute for P of negative x. Ang gawin ko, kapayin ko to. P of negative x. So, lahat ng x, babaguhin natin ng negative x. P of negative x. This one will become negative x also. Itong palatandaan natin dito kapag ang 
exponent ng negative x ay even, hindi siya mababago, positive pa rin siya. Pero kung add, mababago yung sign ng kanyang coefficient. So, ibig sabihin dito, this will stay at, uh, kasi negative x raised to 4, that's positive x raised to 4. But for this case, yung 21x cube magiging positive na. Positive 21x cube. And then, yung 65, uh, ano pa rin yan? Positive x pa rin yan. x squared, 65x squared. Yung 42 maging positive 42 na. Positive 42x and then minus 40. Now, let's count how many sign changes are there. Dito, wala. 21x cubed, wala ulit. 65x squared, wala ulit. 42x, wala. So, dito lang tayo nagkaroon ng sign change. So, we have 1. Again, kung 1, so, wala tayong ibang pwedeng possible combination dyan, kundi 1 lang. The next thing you need to do is to create a table. Okay, create a table for the number of positive real zeros, na, na possible negative real zeros, imaginary complex zeros, tsaka yung total. Yung total natin, by remember by the Remember by the fundamental theorem of algebra? Kung ang degree ng polynomial mo ay 4, so we're expecting a total of 4, at most 4, real zeros. So in this case, kukuha nila natin yung lahat ng possible combinations. So yung positive real zeros natin, pwedeng 3 or 1. So just in case, 3 siya. Yung negative real zero natin, wala tayong choice, 1 lang lagi yon. So since ang total nito ay 3 plus 1 ay already 4, so sabihin, wala tayong na-expect na imaginary complex zeros. So, ang total natin dito ay 4. So, 3 plus 1 plus 0 equals 4. Now, pwede rin naman na isa na positive real tapos isang negative. So, kulang pa tayo ng dalawa. So, ibig ben imaginary yun for a total of 4. Meron pa ba? Wala na, no? Kasi ang possible lang na positive ay 3, 1... Negative i1 lang naman yung pwede. And then we have this. So we have two possible combinations of positive, negative, and imaginary complex zeros. And that's it. Actually, ito yung pwede ting tingnan kapag nagsosolve na tayo. Mare, nakakuha ka na ng isang negative. So, natsambahan mo kanyari sa super synthetic division. Oh, nakakuha na ako ng isang negative na zero. Yan. Or na root. Ibig sabihin nun, dahil nakuha mo na yun, na max out mo na yung possible na negative. Ibig sabihin, huwag ka na maghanap ng iba pang negative. Mag-focus ka na sa positive. Okay? So, natsambahan mo, kunyari, nakakuha ka ng isang positive na real zero. So, ibig sabihin nun, may chance na baka ito yung combinations ng roots or ng zeros. Pero, kapag natsambahan mo ulit, nakakuha, nakakuha ka isa pang positive, so, dalawa na. Dalawa na yung positive mo, so, ituloy mo na dito. Ito na yung possible combination. Sure ball na yon. May isa ka pang hinahanap na positive real zeros. Let's have another one. Use again the Descartes rule of signs to determine the possible numbers of positive and negative zeros of this function. Again, i-check muna natin kung written in standard form. Yes, may kulang ba na terms? Wala. Kompleto. Let's count how many sign changes are there. Wala to. This one. And this one. So, we have one sign change here and then another here. So, we have two. Two positive, two possible positive real zeros. But again, pwedeng... Mas mababa ng even integer. So, pwedeng 2 or 0. Next, let's compute for P of negative x. For P of negative x, patan lang natin lahat ng negative x. Okay, and then we simplify. Simplify natin ta. This will become still positive x to the 4th, 2x to the 4th. And then, this one, it will become minus. Minus 5, 5x cubed. This will still be 14x squared. This will become plus 23. 23x and then plus 30. Now, let's count how many chi sign changes are there. So, ito, mula positive 2, naging negative 5. So, we have one sign change here. Negative, negative, wala. Ito din. Yan. Dalawa din. So, we're expecting 2 or 0. Okay, let's now fill in the table for the possible positive, negative, and imaginary zeros. Again, and I expect ulit natin a total of 4, no? So, pwedeng 2 na real 0, pwedeng 2 din na negative, walang imaginary total of 4. Pwede ka ulit 2, tapos 0 na negative. Sabi sabihin nun, yung dalawang nawawala, imaginary yun. So, total of 4. Pwede ka namang wala na positive, dalawang negative, dalawang imaginary, and then for a total of 4. And then lastly, pwede kang 0 na positive, walang negative. Kasi di ba pwedeng 0, 0 yung positive tsaka negative. Lahat imaginary for a total of 4 pa rin. Okay. And that's 
the Descartes Rule of Science. Okay, let's try the Descartes Rule of Science. Paano ba niya tayo matutulungan sa pag-solve ng uh, zeros or ng... So, let's copy this. Ngayon, gagawin natin. Um, by the zero... By the rational root theorem. Ano sabi sa rational root theorem? Let's list all the possible rational roots. Pero unahin muna natin uh, factors of... Factors of P. Ano mga factors of P natin? Factors ang P natin yung sa 30, no? So, we have um, plus or minus... 1, plus or minus 2, plus or minus 3, plus or minus 5, slash plus or minus 6, plus or minus 10, tama ba? Plus or minus 15, and then plus or minus 30. So these are the possible uh, list of factors of P, which is the th which is 30. And then let's list the factors of, or divisors, uh, divisors of, of Q which is, in this case, 2. So we have, um, dalawa lang, plus or minus 1, and then plus or minus 2. We need to have uh, the possible combinations of P over Q, P over Q. In this case, P over Q, we have um, plus or minus 1, plus or minus 1. We have plus or minus 1 half, and then plus or minus 2, and 2 over 2, that's plus or minus 1. And then 3, plus or minus 3. So here are the list of all possible rational roots of this polynomial, uh, zeros pala of this polynomial function. So ang gagawin natin, ang gagawin ko muna, isusulat ko muna siya into linear form, into a linear form. So mag-start ako sa negative 30. Okay, so ang ginawa ko lang dito, sinulat ko lang yung mga factors natin. Uh, yung P over Q, yung mga combinations ng possible rational roots natin or rational zeros natin sa ato, uh, in increasing order. So next start sa negative 30 up to positive 30. So we have a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So bali 22 na possible rational uh, zeros. Ngayon, ang gagawin natin, Mag-try na tayong kumuha muna for synthetic division. So say for example, tinesting ko C negative. So say for example, I tried 1 for synthetic division. So sinubukan ko si 1 for synthetic division. That's 1 and then 2, 5, negative 14, negative 23, 30. Okay, so gumana yung 1. Let's now try a 2. Pero gamitin na natin yung 2, 7, negative 7, tsaka yung minus 30. So we have 2 times 2, we have 4. We have 10, 10 times 2, we have 20, and then 20. Hmm, parang mali. 11 pala, so this is 11. 11, we have 22. Yeah, and then we have 15. Then we have 30. So we have 0. So yun, gumana yung 1 at 2. So dalawang positive. Okay, remember, nakakuha natin yung dalawang positive. Positive 1, tsaka positive 2. Ibig sabihin, wala na to, hindi na pwede tong chance na to. Or hindi na pwede tong combination na to. Ito, hindi na rin to pwede tong combination na to. So, dito na lang tayo sa dalawang to mamimili. Since na max out mo na yung pinakamataas na pwedeng uh, positive real zeros, zeros mo. Ibig sabihin, tatanggalin mo na ngayon sa listahan mo tong mga to. Okay, wala na kayo, hindi na kayo. Hindi na kayo, wala na kayo sa mga listahan. Okay, ibig sabihin, wala na to sa listahan, itong mga positive na to. Dito na lang kayo, sa mga negative na to, magta-try.